Salon, salon. Man, it's Yom Day One, man. We back here working on the greenhouse. Today, man, we're uh getting after these um these window pockets. So what I got right here is these windows I got on clearance uh from I think we got these at our local building supply store and they had these on clearance. They were probably about 20 bucks a piece. Very lightweight aluminum frame, uh, like a plastic glass in there. So very easy to work with. And uh, what I was doing is um, pretty much just framing out some blocks in there to uh, put the window windows in. And these are gonna be the pockets. So I got this side done right here. It's gonna have two windows. And then um, I'll show you on this side right here. On this side right here, I got uh, two window pockets also. These aren't gonna be as high. Um, so these will pretty much on the back side and let the high air out and these will let you know air flow through as wind flows this direction out here. Now that I've got them pretty much um, uh, cut out and ready to go, I'm gonna take the windows out and I'm gonna paint this wood, um, put this, uh, this 243 Advanced Electro Merrick white roof coating on there. And that's what I've used for the entirety of the greenhouse to, uh, you know, to waterproof it. And uh, this stuff is like a, a latex, uh, like rubberized coating. So I'm gonna do that and then let that dry, put the dog on, um, mount the windows on, and then we can get to putting the rest of the sheeting on. Other than that, man, I gotta put a, uh, a door on here. I'll put a door on here and that'll be it, man. Once I put the, the panels on uh, in the door, Man, this thing is going to be operational, ready to go. So stay tuned, man. I'll give you an update here in a minute. All right, we're back at it. Got the uh, the window pockets all painted up, good to go. Sealed with that um, that waterproof uh, roof coating right there. I'll show you both sides. Uh, next step is to, let me zoom this out. Next step is to uh, mount the windows. I, had to, I forgot I had the paint up here too. So I had all that pretty much not a... Uh, covered got these ones painted up ready to go and i'm gonna uh go ahead and mount the windows in there man and we cooking getting the grease hot after that man i might uh i don't know if i want to do the panels or if i want to jump straight into the uh the door i'm thinking about doing the um thinking about doing the panels and then doing the door last but there you have it man got the windows mounted in there that way it'll allow for a good cross breeze right there, some ventilation. And uh, let me show you the other side. Getting it done, man, Yom Day One. Sunday, for those that don't know, Yom Day Rashan. Yom Rashan, getting after it. First day of the week, we back here working. About to go get my son and we about to hang some panels and uh, get it hopping and popping man we this thing is coming coming to an end like you said man we this is probably a good seven eight part series and uh all started out with showing you how to pour the concrete and uh we're building it up from here man build it up started from the bottom now we're here all right just finished uh putting these panels up with my sock with my son got him up and uh we out here moving shaking and moving he was surprised he was like man this didn't even take that long to do uh the other side is what it took us a little bit of a uh, trial and error to get it done but you can see i got the clear panels up top and down low i got the uh the darker ones that way all the sunlight um can push through the through the top and um based upon how many panels i got i'm gonna try to uh make sure the top and probably about halfway up has a good uh amount of sunlight that it's able to use so i got two ends left to do i got this end right here to do to get uh knocked out and then uh i got the front end which is the doorway to do and um this bad boy gonna be about ready and i might even do depending on um how much concrete i got i might even do uh, a little ledge right here full of concrete and slope that thing on down um but that's that's future projects man the goal right now is just to get this thing done got to do this side now i'm about to uh these gables up top i'm about to take a panel put up there and measure the highest point 
measure the uh, the lowest point, and then from there, uh, I will cut them out and make sure they are cut the right way they need to be, and uh, we'll go from there. The last thing we gotta do is get inside of here and uh, spray foam some of these joints. That way the wind does not uh, does not get through. Hey, tell the people what's up, man. What we out here doing today? Just put up the panels. Okay. Then, but how long did that take? This only took like, I say about five minutes. About five minutes? Yeah, I think that one took longer than this one. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. we about to um get these last two panels uh size done, and uh, we'll give you an update after that. All right, man. Give you another update, man. We got all the uh the panels on. You can see we got them on. Now I'm about to button it up, put a couple more um, screws in there, give you a whole 360, got the spray foam. Just did the, um, the spray foam on the corners, um, letting that dry, it'll harden out, and then I will trim it down so it doesn't look so bubbly. Put some, uh, put some fascia over it, got the windows on the back. Real easy, man, real simple little greenhouse. Let me give you an angle from this side. And I'm gonna use all these little panels right here. I'm not throwing any of these away because when hail season comes, and uh, you need to do patchwork, man, I'll take some rubber cement and uh, put a patch on these things on a heartbeat rather than just replacing the whole panels. Even though I have some uh, additional panels, each panel runs about 20 bucks. Um, so that's probably the most expensive part on here is the paneling, but we got it all done. And uh, yeah, there you go. All sides buttoned down. You see where I was putting some uh, like some insulation tape to join those seams right there but um goes all the way down to the bottom water will be able to flow out like i said we got the windows right here and i'm about to start um working on the door i'll give you an inside look you go right here definitely good and uh definitely good and warm in here so when winter time comes around i'll be able to open these windows get a little breeze just like such just like that. Got another one right here. There you go right there. So definitely got enough. Uh, you can definitely feel the difference. And when the bright, see that sun shining right up there? That's what the greenhouse is supposed to do. So in the wintertime, man, we'll be, we'll be good to go. But um, I'm about to get after this door. And then I'll do a video uh, giving you the final update with what we did with the door, and then we'll be good to go. Stay tuned. All right, this is the final product, man. We got uh, got everything done for today. Got the door on, just didn't get the panels on. I gotta go in and cut some hair, cut my son's hair, you know, have him clean. And uh, yeah, man, this, so this is what we did, man. When uh, got the door on, Got the little latch mechanism on. Just a little simple uh, little nail and a hook. Got the door mounted with some, uh, just some budget door hinges. Still gotta go around and uh, on the inside, just go ahead and uh, spray foam the inside good with the can spray foam. And there we have it, man. That's an eight by 16, eight by 16 greenhouse. This side, the uh, the foam, the expansion foam went in there real good. I'll come back and trim that uh, and then put the, uh, the fascia on there, the little metal fascia. Same thing with the top. I wanted to make sure it's, it's sealed really good so that heat stays in. So you got the corners real good. That expanded, just that spray foam stuff's real good. Filling up gaps and it's sticky. Check it out. And uh, I still got it. I still got panels left over just in case, um, you know, hail storm or something hits because hail, uh, a good size hail will take this out and um, have to be prepared for that. So I got some more panels and uh, I might even just depending on let me see how this does, but I might even double layer the top um, to strengthen it. But this is the finished product. See inside. That's the 
greenhouse. So we'll be ready by next weekend to move everything we got in here because man, the, uh, I'll give you a look, but these doggone rabbits was eating me out, eating me out. So a lot of what I initially started off with, they ate the doggone limbs off and ate everything. So that's what the rush was on getting this done, finished it. You see what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, we'll be ready for the, 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 the winter season, the dead season, because it's going to get cold and windy here. And uh, we got to have a way to grow some food. And honestly, man, in the um, I don't know what it is, but in the greenhouse in the wintertime, it seems like stuff just grows better, period, than the summer uh, heat where it's too hot and you got to try to get shade and all of that. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Man, stay encouraged. Hope everybody has a blessed week. Out.